Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're looking at some Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. When it comes to video editing, efficiency is key. If you're working for months on a project, every keystroke will add up to an insane amount of time either gained or lost. So today, we're sharing 10 awesome keyboard shortcuts that you probably didn't know about. But once you do, you'll wonder how you managed to get by without them. So let's dive into it with number one, see everything in your timeline. Getting a good view of your timeline is key to being able to work efficiently inside of it. If you don't know where you are in the context of your whole video, it can be hard to make a decision that can affect tone and pacing. I always find myself going to a wide view of my entire constructed timeline. And with the backslash button, you can do that in just one click. Number two, increase or decrease the size of video and audio tracks. Another frustrating task I find myself doing often is increasing or decreasing the width of audio and video tracks. If it's too skinny, you can't see any changes to opacity or speed ramping that you've done. But if it's too thick, you might not be able to see any of the other tracks you've got going on above your clip. But by holding shift and hitting plus or minus, you can change the size of your audio and video tracks to just the amount that you need. And if you want to dive in for fine control, you can target specific video layers with control instead, and specific audio layers with alt. Then use plus and minus to change these individual tracks. Number three, hold shift while moving clips. Speaking of tracks, I find that there's a lot of times when I need to move a piece of audio or video up or down to a new track layer for organization or because I want it to take priority in the edit. But whenever I do that, I pretty much always need it to stay exactly where it was in sequence. So by holding shift and moving it, you can lock the horizontal direction and safely move it to a new track layer without moving it out of place. Number four, set poster frame. Thumbnail view for your clips in your project manager is really helpful. You can just take a quick look and know exactly what piece of footage you're working with. That is, unless you've got just a blank screen or a really unhelpful thumbnail. But you can actually choose your own thumbnail by scrubbing to the point you like and then hitting Shift P. Now you'll easily be able to identify it for next time. Number five, control versus shift. When you're making adjustments to elements within your project, moving around a title, a graphic, or really anything, you'll find yourself wanting to make incredibly fine movements, moving your item just a hair's width at a time. By holding control or command while making your movements, Premiere will require more mouse movement to move things the same amount of distance, giving you more fine control to make placements absolutely perfect. Similarly, if you need to move something pretty far and you find yourself swiping your mouse five or six times before getting it where you need to go, you can hold shift to make your movements way more sensitive. Number six, ripple delete. When it comes to getting your rough edit all squared away, you're gonna be doing a lot of trimming and moving. For a typical motion array tutorial, I'll be doing this process over and over, maybe hundreds of times. Make the cut, delete the excess, move everything back together, and review the cut. Sometimes it's just with the audio that B-roll will go over top of later. And it takes a lot of time, but you can save time by using the ripple delete to delete all the footage and close the gap in one keystroke. Now our editing can continue on even faster. Number seven, quick select. This one is as quick to explain as it is useful. By hitting the D key, you can select whatever clip is directly over top of the playhead. Pretty useful for making quick selections without having to move the mouse at all. And you can see how you could combine it with the last shortcut for even faster editing speeds. Select and ripple delete. Number eight, grouping clips without nesting. Sometimes when you're moving clips all around, it's frustrating to have to click on multiple clips over and over again to move them as a group. So Premiere actually lets you group clips together without nesting them in their own sequence. Just highlight the clips that you wanna to group together by clicking and dragging over top of them or by holding shift and selecting multiple and then hit control or command G. Now, whenever you select one of the clips that are grouped, it'll highlight all the clips that you've grouped together. And ungrouping it is simple too. Click on any of the group clips and hit control or command, shift and G. Number nine, shift R to quickly find a frame. Ever wonder where in your video a particular section of footage has been used? Well, if you've got it in your source monitor, whatever your playhead is over at this section, hitting shift and R will move your timeline playhead to the first place that same frame appears in your edit. Neat, right? And number 10, control a command and backslash. Finally, this one is so helpful for me and I use it every day. 
I do a lot of screen recordings for these types of videos, and it's really aggravating when I realize, after the fact, that Premiere Pro actually wasn't taking up the full width of the screen. It's got some extra room at the edges. Plus, I never really liked this top bar here displayed when I put up these recordings. Well, if you hit Control or Command and Backslash, you'll actually make your Premiere Pro window take up the full amount of your screen, and it'll be presented in a mode that'll make it look a little more classy. No top bar, just a beautiful full screen display. No worries about accidentally moving it around either. And guys, that's been 10 keyboard shortcuts that you probably didn't know about. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to save time and edit more effectively, then might I suggest that templates are a great way to go. We've got tons of Premiere Pro and After Effects templates for you to check out here at MotionArray.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.